Long time no see. <laughs> My name is Brendan Jordan, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you go and subscribe. <laughs> Today's video, I really, really, really wanted to talk about where I have been, what I have been doing, where I wanna go from there, and also talk about a lot of stuff that I've never really shared before on camera. Go grab a tea, pour yourself a nice big one, and let's get into all of this. So to understand the entire story, we really have to go back in time, baby, back to the wonderful year of 2014, where from what most of you know me from was that viral video. <laughs> and overnight, it just changed my life completely. Please welcome Brandon Jordan! Brandon! He walks, he pulls it, he comes out! Easy party! Okay, yeah, we just finished a photo shoot. This is like the aftermath. She yeah, looks I was a photographer. This yeah. is a model. <laughs> You know, you can do this. You can be you, girl. Right Taking at this whole thing from face value, it's really easy to see how it just seemed like, oh, this is just a person who has everything they could ever want in life. But now that I think about it, I don't think I've really shared with everyone how it truly, truly was. So basically that same year that my video went viral was also the year that I came out to my parents. Luckily, my parents were so supportive of me from the moment I came out. I'm so grateful to have that. I feel like I wouldn't be where I was today had it not been for their support. But also that same year, I was a freshman in a high school baby, starting out at a brand new school at a private high school that was religious based. And I told myself, I'm like, Brendan, you just have to do it. You just have to be you at this school and uh, let whoever hates, hates. Little did I know that I'd be popping up on everybody's phone screen. So honey, there was a lot of good stuff that was happening in my life at that time. But it was also hard because I was trying to figure myself out. And, and now that my face is plastered, I'm like this meme, I've become this meme. There's a lot of people that are trying to identify me and put me in that box based on just that five second clip that they saw. While I'm not complaining, like I understand completely, but at the same time, I found it very hard to define myself outside of that box because I felt that I wouldn't be able to make people happy if I didn't. And I'm not trying to confuse you and say that it wasn't me or I wasn't being authentic because it definitely is a part of me. Like, girl, I have my moments where I just wanna live and let loose and be me and have fun. But when it comes to the point where that's what people see me as and what people only see me as, it gets hard because I feel like if I won't live up to that expectation that people have of me, and if I'm not always happy all the time and living my best life and making people laugh, then no one will care. But that was where the, there became this constant like pressure that was just ignited in me to maintain that image that people saw of me while also trying to figure out who I still was because like, girl, like I was 14, like, you know? That's where I started hating who I was you know, and hating who I let people get to know me as. And I started asking myself like, why, why am I like that? Why is it that if people won't see me like that, they won't like me, you know? And these were all ideas that I was putting in my head, but you have to realize at the time that there is just this pressure, you know, now you have an audience. So now you have to give these people what they want to see. So girl, while all of this is going on underneath and while I'm trying to figure myself out and try to make people happy at my new school, meeting new people, the one community that I thought would have my back consistently and without any excuse did not. 
Most of the hate comments I received were from people within my own community. Older men who identified as queer sending me messages saying, I'm too feminine. I give gay men a bad name. I'm feeding into the stereotype. I am setting the gay movement back 50 plus years because of how I was acting. My femininity wasn't okay. You have to understand this is 2014, 2015. This is like before for boys and beauty was even a thing. Effeminate people were really shamed on. The whole time I'm like, I really looked up to these people. This is my community where I thought I would receive that support, but that wasn't the case. There were a lot of people in the queer community who supported who I was and I'm forever grateful for that. But it's so hard when you see older men saying these things to a 14 year old child. <laughs> um, I sat down with myself and I realized that if people hate this upbeat, most happiest version of myself, what are they gonna be like when they see how I just am when I'm like waking up on a Sunday morning? I felt boxed in. I felt forced to do this because that's all I really had to offer. It just left me feeling empty, <laughs> like literally. <laughs> I felt like, do I always have to be like this? Is this the only way that people will like me? The only way people will validate me? That's why I just kind of stopped actively doing what I was doing on social media. I just felt like I had to um, like put this happy mask on and you know, <laughs> say some stuff that'll make people laugh and then that's it, camera's off, and then I'm like, okay. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I felt depressed. <laughs> like, literally, I went be from being so euphoric to coming out on top of life, all my dreams come true, to crying myself to sleep because I had no idea what I was doing. And everyone, no matter how much followers, no matter how much fame, success, money they have, everyone has feelings and everyone has emotions and everyone feels like this at times. My biggest reason was that I just felt like there was just no point. Like if I can't, if I can't make people laugh, if I can't give myself in that way, if I don't have enough energy to do so, then why try Brendan? Like, just stop. <laughs> So sad to say, oh my God, but like, that's where I was. And that's where I still kind of find myself being and going to occasionally, you know, cause I let those fears from the past haunt me today. But I had to sit down with myself. I'm like, Brendan, what do you value in life? What do you want to do in life? What do you want to give people in life? I want to make people happy and I want to make people laugh. But if it takes away from me, I have to take care of myself first. That was a major lesson that I learned in my life. I didn't have to be anything. I didn't have to be this person to get the success. Like this whole time, I just had to be myself. And maybe if I had or did give people a chance to see the other sides of me, I'm sure they would have fallen in love with that. And if they didn't, okay, shoot, whatever. But being in here in this present moment and defining who I am and just saying that I am no longer going to put pressure on myself to make people happy, I'm just gonna do me. And you know, I, I that still is part of me. Like I said, the fun, upbeat, super bouncy, high energy Brendan, that is still a very real part of me. But there are times I don't feel like that. Baby, this is the Brendan 2.0. And I think, you know, I don't have myself figured out, but I don't care. And I'm just gonna live in the moment and be who I am today, because that is what you deserve. You deserve authenticity. So I took a break. Over my year break, I really just had a chance to fully just think about what is it that I want? In, in short, everything, honey. <laughs> I wanna show everything and all sides of me. Okay, and honey, listen, I wanna talk to all you kids out there who may identify as queer or maybe not. You don't have to identify as queer to relate to this, but know that you don't have to be anyone or anything 
to please other people. The only thing that you need to be, and as cheesy as it sounds, is you. Because at the end of the day, when you are living for other people, you are taking away from yourself, and that's not what you deserve. You deserve, you deserve so much better than that, and this is something I wish I could tell my younger self. We are all pressured to be certain things, whether it is to get good grades, to get in a certain school, to get this job, to have this amount of money. But no one tells us that it's okay to just be and live for us. And that's really what I want to tell you today, is to learn from my experience and learn from the things that I didn't do as great. And I want you to know that whatever that is for you and who you are, be that person. There are people in their 40s figuring it out, 60s figuring it out, people in their 20s figuring it out. We're all just trying our best on this earth. And life is so short. Life is too short to not be anyone but yourself. Be yourself, like, uh -huh. No, but like, but for real, be you. So ladies, gentlemen, and all fabulous identities in between, I am a meme and I am proud of it, honey. <laughs> I am proud of where it has brought me to this point in my life. And I am so grateful for that moment. But I am here to say that I am also so much more to that too. And I am here to welcome you to the Brenda Jordan 2.0 era, where I am just honestly, honey, I'm just gonna be. I am just gonna be, and I can't wait to share this part of myself that I've never really had or have given myself the opportunity to. We are here. We are queer. <laughs> now you better subscribe, baby, because you need to know. You need to stay with us. Join the family. With that said, I hope you are happy, healthy, and safe. Goodbye, baby. This is Brenda Jordan. Out! <laughs>